Hello everyone and welcome to Maria's Crafting Corner and to today's video. Hi sis, hi um, Diana, is that how you pronounce your name? You'll have to correct me there. Um, I am so glad that you guys are here today. Today's event is a live event and today's date is July 26. So if you're here for the live or you're here for the replay, thank you so much for being my crafting buddy um and a big welcome and i definitely hope you enjoy today's um card so it is a kind of a modified tri shutter card i wish they figured out a easier names for the cards you know you guys sometimes it's like oh my god can you just like get something simpler for those of us that have a harder time <laughs> pronouncing some of these things um but anyways it's a modification I did not come up with it. I Susie knows that I kind of see them in Pinterest and either create, you know, recreate my. Um, thank you. The, I just kind of recreate my the version I saw, which has happened in a few cases. Or sometimes I'm lucky and I found you know another tutorial or not. So I. Um, this person was uploaded it didn't say that she made it so i don't know where she got the card initially from and um you know just want to put it out there i want to tell you guys if you don't know i am a stamping up demonstrator and if you don't have a demonstrator it would be my pleasure to send you one of our catalogs at this point in time we have three. Oh yes that could be hmm we have three different catalogs. The celebration one, which is the one that it's between now and August 31st. And it's just, yes, wonderful free for up, free product, which I absolutely love. They have beautiful options this year. We also have our mini catalog, which I have decided to call the holiday catalog. And we will be using some of what the paper that um, it's in there. So... Let me know if you're interested in one of the catalogs. My email is maria at mariascraftingcorner.com and don't hesitate to send me an email. If you need anything at all, if you're interested in stamping up or you just want to have some questions about today's card or any other card or video, I am going to make this um, disclaimer. I am Spanish speaking, so sometimes I have uh, some trouble finding the words. <laughs> I want or what I want to say Susie knows that very well um because I I forget words it happens it's in the moment and I'm like okay I forgot so anyways just in case take that into account now let's go to the crafting table and I moved some of this stuff here in a little bit in the app and it's kind of a little complicated it's a bit different I have to move things in a little place okay so we i'm going to show you guys i'm going to be using the um splendid day suite um i have made a couple of cards with this one i think that one of them um was part of the other tri chatter card i made uh but we're going to be using the whole well not just kidding we're going to be using part of the suite we're going to be using paper and the bundle i'm not going to be using either of these but in any case, that's what we were going to be. Hi. Hey, Ale. How are you? How are you doing, girl? Um, so, yeah. I, I'm i going to be using that today. Um, I have, as always, I have a couple of other cards I made. I think this is, those are my practice run <laughs> for when I actually get here in front of you the other thing i'm going to start doing this because i think it's a little bit easier and it is we're going to do the card on white cardstock although we will be using other stuff um we will be using other stuff other cardstock sorry i am glad you're here girl i was thinking about you today actually that's so funny um so we're going to start with a Okay, I'm a little bit of focus here. Let me see. Why? Okay. With a 6 by 12, uh, this is white cardstock. We will be using Sahara Sand. And I have taken the liberty of already 
kind of did my part, but we're going to do it together. It's not extremely complicated. Let me move this a little bit in your camera view. So we're going to start scoring at four. And if you've been here before, I like going in order. You know, sometimes it's, people will tell you, well, score here and then cut here. And I need to, my brain needs to go like one step at a time and in order. So I hope that helps you. It, it feels to me more organized. So we're scoring at four and then we'll move to five and score at five. And we are going to score, let me move this a tiny bit, sorry, between one and five. Okay. And then we're going to move to six and a half. And you guys know that I always have my cheat sheet right next to me. So uh, that's what I, I'll be looking when I'm looking out there is just making sure that I have the right measurements. Okay, so we're moved to six and a half and we are going to score again between one and five. Okay, and now we're going to move to eight and we're going to score all the way. So from top to bottom we're going to move to nine and a half so if you pay attention we're just increasing in one inch and a half um or we're making well i hope you understand we're increasing every one inch and a half <laughs> okay so we're going to move to nine and a half and the score again between one and five just as you, just as always, I will have all these measurements um, in a PDF tutorial that you will be able to access in my blog. All that information will be linked below. <laughs> I hear you. I, you know, it's about being organized. When when they go all over the place with measurements, like I feel overwhelmed, and then like, okay, I can't think now. So <laughs> I have to take it slowly. And I think that's one of the reasons why my videos are a bit longer because I, I really take some time to make sure that everything is correct. And um, yeah, I'm a slower crafter, I guess. And now, so we were at nine and a half, we're moving to 11. Okay, we're making that to 11 and we're going to score again between one and five. So all we're doing here, the only difference, and let's see if you can see it is the only score that went all the way through are eight and four. Now we're going to turn and get our six inch uh, side. We are going to align at the one inch and I am using, hello Judy, how are you? I'm going to be using um, my other side of the trimmer. It's just a little bit easier. And we are going to move that and we're going to cut now between those two score lines so i am moving up here so we're going to start at here at five that's when we cut initially and we're going to move all the way to 11. just always be mindful that um not to cut all the way <laughs> or too much it's always a little better to cut extra with thank you i really appreciate that Oh, no, I do. Most of the time, you know, I put it there um, so you are able to just go down there. It will not be there just in case. You don't, it will not be there until um, like probably a couple of an hour, an hour and a half after I'm done with the video because I have to edit a lot of stuff. And so and again, it's just a one man, well, one woman show. So <laughs> um, it takes me a little bit to put all the information down there. But yeah, it will be there. And now we're going to turn over, do the exact same thing. Be, make sure that when you turn over, the score lines are still on the 5 to 11. Align at 1 and then get at 5 and cut all the way to 11. And that's our card. So we are going to get there and use our bone folder. This is just again for demonstration purposes. Uh, Judy, will we all? I already have this cut. I just think that sometimes using white cardstock is a little bit easier. And I, this one would go like this, so you know, kind of mountain. 
these i i follow up cutting this one i mean cutting folding this one because that's easier and then i will fold we will fold mountain valley this one's already mountain valley and mountain and so we're kind of creating a you know the impression it gives me is like an accordion within the card so we when it folds it's going to fold like this i one of the things i was trying to figure out was to get this once it's full like that right because i was thinking oh how cool but then um these looked here and i didn't like it so i decided that it's probably like this how it folds um, and i'll show you my first card i was okay i'm going to use I'm going to leave it as is and then um we're going to build a belly band for it because it just kind of opens a little bit of course you know when you use the bone folder i didn't use it much here um it does stay better um closed but it's not all the time so anyways i love i love bands so and it, there's they they bring so much options opportunities to make the card just look so amazing so this is the card Pretty much this is the base the only other piece and this is how it's going to look this is the aerial look okay the only other piece that we're going to do here are and those this is my cheat sheet <laughs> so you know um it's these two pianos so if you notice it has that i'm going to call it c yeah, it would be like a C, right? Let's call it C shape um, or this different shape, which is harder to make. Not impossible, but just a little bit harder. You can absolutely just create, you know, um, different pieces and that will look amazing. I preferred to just make the whole piece. Um, and we're going to do that and those measurements will also be included so we are going to cut these at the first one and I'm going to cut both I'm just going to cut one I guess and you'll have the measurements but so you guys know we're going to cut the first one is and I'm going to do this this way just kidding it's so it's that is three and again teach it here three and seven eighths let me move that there and then we're going to move here and cut a five and seven eighths so that's our basic cut and then what we'll do is we'll move here to seven eighths and i'm going to use again the right side of my trimmer go to seven eighths and we're going to cut okay let me do this a little bit easier we're going to get this longer side towards the top a line towards the top a line at seven eighths and then we're going to cut all the way to three inches and same as said before just make sure that you don't go too far back and then we're going to move turn over and do the exact same thing a line at seven eighths and cut at three whoops at three inches okay finally we're just going to align really we're going to get the shorter the shorter edge align at three inches and we're going to cut between what's going to be one and five really but you know between the cuts okay and like and that will well mostly that's what i was saying it's much easier to use your snips and cut that tiny bit than it is to um if you go too far far off then it will be it will not work and so you see it here because it's much easier of course then this will fit perfectly the other piece hello betty how are you oh i'm glad you're here and you joined us for the live um the other piece is the same cut really but it's going to measure three and three quarters by five and three quarters and just we'll do the same thing at line and instead of aligning at seven quarters we'll be aligning at three quarters and cut at three okay so just want you to know those are the pieces and the only other piece i want to make put out there is that if your paper has a direction 
make sure that when you are cutting the other side, so we tend to cut, let me bring this one. We tend to cut, let me bring this one. We tend to cut this one, you know, like, I think it comes, or maybe it's me, just in case. But I think it comes very natural to just cut this and like planning these. And then we forget that this one is the other side. And so if you have a pattern that has a direction, you need to make sure that that is cut, that you're taking into account that pattern, okay? Like I said, I did cut all the pieces beforehand because those who have been here, um, oh, thank you, Betty. I'm so glad you're here. Because those who have been here in the past know that I am a slow crafter. And so if I don't have these things already cut, it will take like two hours. <laughs> and I don't think anybody's going to stay for that long. So I already am using, I already have these cut. This is again, six by 12. We already went through the scoring. And um, Betty, if you have some questions later, let me know. I know you join later. And we are going to start decorating. And all these measurements are, so I hope you can see this gorgeous paper. This is from the Splendid Day, like I mentioned before. And if you don't have that suite or this paper, I mean, you just have to get it. Okay, I'm gonna say something, and I've said this before. I am like a ferret, right? Like, if there's bling, if it's shiny, I'm just gonna go get it. And of course, I have to get this one. So I've used a few of these um, in lives or in other cards. It just has all this foil that is gorgeous. I love this foil. Um, in I think this is par Pool Party. There's another one in soft sea foam that I really like as well. This one is soft sea foam. Anyways, this is a gorgeous paper that will that is extremely useful for everything right it's extremely useful for elegant cards but as always and those of you who know Stampin' Up the other side has a more um you know kind of different design that you'll be able to use in many other cards and many other occasions okay so i, I had to show you that one because of course i'm kind of in love with it now the other paper i'm going to use today is the snowflakes vellum i know it's a snowflakes but i mean if you see it like that it's kind of polka dotish right so we're going to use some of this just to put some interest in the card because as you can tell it kind of creates some interest when you put it so just wanted to show you those two are in our new mini catalog and let me know again if you need one let's start with the fun so for the front so we have several areas right we have the front we have an inside part and then we have this beautiful area that has the accordion if somebody comes with a better word I'm all for it. We're going to start with the front because once we have that done, it's much easier to work with the rest. That's, that was my experience working with the others. Once the front was done, I didn't have to deal much with it. But, um, but of course, I've always say this, <clears throat> you do you and you have fun doing, you know, what works best for you. And for these, because there's, the paper is, it's um, intense on its own. I am just laying lay, oh my goodness layering over um white and i think it just brings a nice pop to it and we're going to use our stamping seal plus i have right next to me all my little thingies i love the other side of this paper as well because i think it's wonderful for just any card right and that's a hair it's a it's a really beautiful um option I'm sure hoping that's not going to die to me on me today. That happens often. For those of you that are new, I I use it often. So, okay. So we're centering days as best as we can. And we're going to put this one here. We are going to work on the belly band in the at the end. Because it has some of the most beautiful thing options I created. Um and this paper has the advantage that it doesn't really have a it's, it's kind of glary i'm sorry but it doesn't have really a direction so we're going to go ahead and 
so this one there maybe this is easier hello maria why are you making it more complicated for yourself and i was planning to use i don't know if anybody any of you have had the um or have the ladybug trinkets i was planning to use them because i think they they probably sold recently i bought them i actually bought them on sale and i absolutely love them and i love these bronze looking color with the sahara sand it brings a nice nice pop so i'm not completely decided i'm not going to use them but they are sold out so just in case right that was this is a sad moment so this is going to be the front of our card we'll create the belly band here in a little bit and let's go and move to the next piece now i dry embossed this earlier and i am using this gorgeous i love it it's one of those 3d embossing paint folders and it's called painted poises um i absolutely love this look at the depth i don't know if you're able to see it well but look at the depth of that embossing like it's not kidding i love this one um and what we're doing here is a very simple this one i usually use eighth to you know for layering i actually used a little bit more so i used the quarter just because this we can see a little bit more of that beautiful paper and so this card has it it's hmm, it's a little bit simpler in the sense that it has areas but we're going to focus on a couple of areas only to make more to decorate more i guess is what i'm trying to say okay we're gonna get this one i have been doing this for a while and it's just putting whoa <laughs> talking about i can't keep anything straight <laughs> oh see i love ladybugs and butterflies too and those trinkets were so cute um and i think it would they will just look really well with the general part of the with the general idea of the card but um but again they they were they are sold out and i try not to use anything that you're not going to be able to get because that's a little bit unfair right um but so for this area i and you guys know that i always have like all these stuff already here i did use let me bring the splendid thoughts um stamp set i'm so glad you like it i think it's gorgeous that embossing folder is beautiful and we're going to be using this little b and the little b and the um the die too i love when they do those things and let me get my take your pick because i love to struggle for some reason knowing i have this tool okay um so my idea initially was to put those oh my goodness i don't even know why i closed them it's so hard was to put some of these ladybugs in here right just to like it will really really pop but since they're not available um i'm gonna get them back in there and what i did is stamped and cut die cut some of these and i stamped them in our sahara sand and you know just kind of we can place them in front areas let me let me see i was thinking of that one there i'm guessing this one can go somewhere like that and i could have gotten double uh, how you call it when you stamp the other side i always mix and match those names but so we're going to just put this one here so to create some fun and for these ones yes i'm going to use glue Again, those who have been here before know that I am a messy glue person um, for some reason. And we're going to put this one there. So we're just putting a little bit of, of extra detail here. I'm moving that one a tiny bit. The embossing is really has some height to it like real height so be mindful to put enough glue so it actually glues somewhere because we are going to have this is going to have like it needs to be in an area that's just has that height and i am going to move this one a tiny bit 
I'm gonna put it more like there. Really? Okay, and again, really making sure, I mean, it's good to just fly in. We're making sure that it's on that height, otherwise it will not stick, okay? So that is gonna be one part of our card. We're gonna put this for aside for a minute and we're gonna get those layers to create um, that area. Kind of like what I told you before, these paper does not have a pattern, so it's okay to cut them whenever, but always be mindful of when you have patterns. I am going to use glue because in spite of how much I struggle with my glue, with using glue, like I don't know why I'm so messy with, ah, you guys, you see that? It's just crazy. Okay, let's go in here. I'm gonna just put something along those lines so we don't waste the glue, but, and I always have a really ugly rag. <laughs> I'm sorry about that but and i was saying i'm using glue because it gives us some um wiggly way right so some time to actually put this and make sure it's on the side and i you guys may not believe this but the light the glare of the light is killing me a little bit with these beautiful paper but it has some glare to it and now we're going to do the next one Thankfully, there's no blotch of glue. Oh my gosh. And that's why I don't like glue, right? At least this time was something that I could save, quote unquote. But I'm telling you, girl, sometimes. Okay, and now we're going to do the exact same thing. Try to center this in as best as we can using the, you know, or the time that the glue allows us to just center this as best as we can. And we have those two pieces. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in here. So it's a simple card um, in the sense that I, I don't think it has a whole lot to it, um, but you can really Kind of like what Stampin' Up! says, right? You can really make this a little simpler or you can definitely step it up and make like a, you know, complicated card or complex card. I need to take out of my brain the word complicated because that, I think, scares people. And they're not complicated. They're just, you know, you have to pay a little bit more of attention to what you're cutting and what you're not cutting and it's stuff like that. Measurements. But I have said many times this i before <laughs> before i joined stamping up and you guys are gonna laugh i did not use measurements barely ever it's kind of funny and ridiculous i have to say okay we're gonna move these aside for a second so that dries and we're going to bring the pieces that are going to decorate the accordion these pieces you're going to need four of them they measure the exact same thing, and I lost my cheat sheet here. It is. These are one and three quarters and three and seven eighths. So that's the biggest layer. And the second layer is an eighth smaller. So one quarter, one and one quarter, and three and three quarters. And I have a variety of things here because I want to play with them. Um, Susie knows that I like. I like to play a lot with what I have because I am not always, not all the time, do I have completely decided on what I'm going to do in the card. And so these two, um, this one is a big one. So we know that one is going to hold a white one. And I'm going to stamp a little bit, think a little bit in here, but then I am leaving some area. So the person that wants to, so I can write a message for that person in sign. And then we have, let me see, I'm sorry here. I have two big ones, uh, two white, two big white ones, because I want I wanted this one in here and this one in here as well. And then the next one, and we can do a little bit of these and recreate something funny here. And finally, this last one, um, 
I wanted to put that white. Right? I mean, oh, thank you. You know, I I love all their colors, I have to say, but I, I like this one. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I know that this is a hair sand, but it is hard to match some of them to the actual card paper. Um, so like the one I made before, and I don't know, Susie, if you remember that one, it was with uh, uh, with the Fresh Freesia one. And so like the foil paper against the Fresh Freesia cardstock was not as good as, I, I didn't like it as much. So I used another cardstock. It's not a problem, right? Not a problem with that. It's just that um, I think that I like, I like this to play with this color a little better because then I could use the same cardstock. I think this looks lovely. Okay, enough talking. Okay, so these are what I have. This one is, okay, let me see. So I have a variety of them and I have a variety of them because this one goes like this. I just want to create some fun, right? So we have four panels. I have this one extra just in case. And we're going to stamp one where we can, you know, we can write. I'm just going to stamp um, one of the little bees. Actually, you know, I'm thinking I want to stamp the sending hugs. So this is the sentiment I'm putting inside because it barely fits. And if you're new to my channel, I don't do anything straight. So I always go cricket. There's n there's no, no way of getting that bad that way. So, I mean, sometimes I do try to put it, you know, straight, but that's not most of the time. So I am going to put that Splendid Thoughts brings, um, these are like the insides of these uh, stamp. I'm just going to use kind of a fun effect here towards the end like that. So I just have some fun with it. I uh, So we have our first one. This one will go in here and then I am going to stamp in this one as well. So I'm going to bring one of the bees in the center real quick and I am going to bring what is it I thought I had it ready but sometimes it's not as I thought it was going to be I'm going to bring this one and let me get one of my blocks we're going to we don't need to really get all that through but we're going to get this like that and so we're just creating some dimension to put into, and some fun actually, to put into those panels. This one will go with this white one. And then this one will just go here and we'll attach something to this. And these will go like that. So those are our four panels. Let me move this out of the way because I am pretty disastrous when it comes to, um, when it comes to inks. I don't know you guys, does it happen to you? But when I am doing this and closing inks and everything, it's like I rub my hands into, into the inks. It's kind of ridiculous. That's funny. So we're going to center this as best as we can. I am using glue just because it's what I have here right next to me. And so it's a little bit easier. And here we go. It really doesn't matter because like I said, this paper does not have up or down. So you don't need to really worry too much about this. This one is going to go simple. So no extra because the paper does all the job. And back and white.
And finally, this one. And I am just going to put a couple of, I'm going to decorate this first, actually. Let's go back to what I have here. So part of what I got, I stamped that one that I showed you earlier and hit emboss it in gold. And um, we can color it if you want. I think that there's enough in this already, and I don't, I don't really want to color it. But I am just going to put this one in here. And again, it's just to create some statement. So I'm going to glue this and we're going to use part of where this is glued at. And it's going to be a little cricket um, to use to, to put our glue. This one needs a little bit more there on the top. And so now we're going to the back of it and we're going to use this to glue. Now, Stampin' Up! has glue dots. There's many other people that have glue dots. I have these from my paper pumpkin kits. So these are the ones I tend to use. Um, okay, I have something there that's not willing. And let's bring, and for some reason, I always struggle with these. Whomever's been watching me knows that it's just a funny funny thing but I'm just I just want it to be really nice so it doesn't show up but I'm gonna put one on the top Let's see if I'm lucky with this one ah much better Maria good job and taking that off maybe hopefully someday oh Jesus okay let me let me look at this to see that will do. And so we have enough glue in here and I'm going to put some extra in here. So it glues there all the way. And that's going to pop out of our little thingy. So I'm bringing my very beautiful, very beautiful um rag. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh my God, what's the word for that thing? And like, like I know it, but then I don't know it. And so there's that. So I'm going to focus on putting this area first, the lower part that actually has the glue, right? And then put the glue that's last. Okay, so now we have our four panels. Oh, whoa, 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 what happened here? Guys, this is disastrous. Okay, somehow this moved. I don't even know how that happened because I was not paying attention. Um, but we have the paper here, so let's cut it real quick and fix it. How did that happen? The Lord knows. Somebody saw that. <laughs> Please tell me how that happened. But it's fine. So we're, I'm gonna cut this way. And it is, we said one and three quarters, because it's the biggest one, by three and seven eighths. Just making sure this doesn't make three and seven eighths. So yes. So one and three eighths, just getting one and three quarters. I was like, one and three quarters is too big. Okay, and three and seven eighths. So we have that one. And what we're gonna do. <laughs> yes, I mean that one. I I think that I should get just like one um paper towels or something like that, but I don't. So I'm going to try to undo this as best as I can. And this is ridiculous. I remember that I just have another piece. I'm wondering if look at that. Well, it worked. So for some reason, God had decided that it was not that one that we were going to use. It's fine. We'll do whatever he wants. We'll adapt. That's what we need to do, right? And where's my other friend? I had it. I just had it. Of course. Now it's lost. Let me see. Did I put it on there already? Well, somehow I managed to lose the other oh i just misplaced it hey it's here <laughs> oh funny okay got it 
let's see let's try not to move that <laughs> again that was so funny not, I was not even paying attention <laughs> really buddy that is so funny that is a good one it's, it's just in case my dog is trying to get in and that's why I keep looking at because he keeps like knocking on the door he likes to craft with me so but then he's here and if he hears noises outside then he wants to go outside and it's worse sometimes because he can be a loud barker so yeah I don't let him in when I am crafting so let's go ahead and decorate this put this where they are we are going to use for these and we're going to come up with what we want and I think I want it like this so this paper in the middle definitely because it's the same paper Oh, I didn't know that. It does make sense. The heat glue I, I have never used. I have heard of the flaws. Um, oh, he managed to get in. Give me one second. If you want to stay here, so stay. Sorry about that. Um, but it was really glued. Like, it was duck and I didn't I mean it just didn't make sense to because I had everything handy here right so <laughs> that was a good a good save um so I like I was saying I want this one in the middle because there's too much of the same paper around and then um the uh, these two that are more on you know less elaborated that's not the word I'm looking for but Oh, really? That's nice. How long have you guys been together? You know, I, Betty, I have heard of the dental floss and I have heard it especially for when you use dimensionals. Um, so anyways, this is how it's going to be aligned. Oh, I'm glad. I would love for you to show me the card you make with it. So here we go, move these to the actual spot, there's one, there's two, I really like this paper, we go with the next one. And as you can tell, I'm not le Wow, that's amazing. I am so envious. That's awesome. Congratulations. Not a whole lot of people can say that nowadays. I think my parents are more or less on that side. Yep. 52 because I'm 51. So, yep. Like I say, not many people can say they've lived that long for that together for that long. So this is our card. Okay. It'll look like that. It will fall like this. Look like this. It will look like this. Now let's work on the belly band, which is here. As you notice, I am not leaving a whole lot of area to write. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have probably the worst handwriting in the world. Maybe not the worst, fine. But my handwriting is very, very similar to whatever your closest doctor do, right? Like, oh, it's just hieroglyphics. So I don't usually do too much about, um, about writing because I just know that I'm not going to do that. Um, you can laugh, but most of the time I try to type it and send a letter typed because I, I want the other person to be able to read it, right? <laughs> so, okay, so this is what we have. This is the card. Let's work on the belly band. So I, ahead of time, have used our, oh my God, I forget the name of it. This is one of my favorite embossing folders. Okay, sorry. 
and it's called pretty flowers and i absolutely love it um i use it i've used it very very often and so i this is two no i think it's one and three quarters by 11. so it's the whole stack of the um of our piece and it's in just white cardstock okay and the first thing we're going to do we're going to bring our crinkle seam binding um oh thank you i you know i think that the where are they my little trinkets would have been better but again i just wanted you to be able to actually get with it and they're no longer available so so we're going to get about we said this is 11 we're going to get about 13 inches just to make sure we have enough i know you guys have seen this you can use your um right i love this blended set we're going to use our alcohol ink marker and we're going to turn this into um into our sort of Sahara sand. This is not Sahara sand. This is the lightest color of the crumb cake, but they don't have the Sahara sand in, in Stampin' Up for some reason. I don't know why, but it is so light that I think it's going to make the difference. It, they, we're not going to really notice the difference. So um, I think, you know, since we're putting it on white, I think it will work. And look at that, people. I'm actually doing this with you. Again, I just don't want the video to be hours long. Um, and I tend to put a lot of pieces to my <laughs> to my cards and just make it long. That's a good idea. You know, I, I think that that's a great idea to um, to play with that. If, if you have, you know, if you have a, a good printer and whatnot, um, I have not done that lately. So I just wanted to put this in the middle. And we, and that's just going to how it's going to look. Now we are going to bring our pieces here. So I use our layering circles and cut just the same Sahara sand and a little piece of that, um, snowflake vellum and we're going to put this in here i just wanted to give it a some some extra color but not to completely overshadow the rest and these are the pieces we're bringing in so this is all from the same splendid suede this is like the little planter um, and what i did is i just used the alcohol markers to create some dimension on it um i use the darkest of the skin combos and so we're going to put this one in here and we're just putting it together so i figure out what needs to go where and these two let's see i made two of these and these are i'm going to put them separately these are the, that same one that I used previously, so let me show it to you. This one, the stamp, golden boss, and I used a combination again of the crumb cake and some of a uh, poppy parade, just to just to create some extra depth into the color. Um, I I really like to create some extra color options so i hope you like that and then i did the same thing with this one except i used olive um yeah mossy meadow is the one i used actually but used using as a base the same um crumb cake color so this friend is going to go here in the back and then we're going to put the flowers we can just put them wherever we want right and we're going to create some interest with them I'm gonna put push this one a little bit to there maybe and we can cut them if we need to I think I want I wanted to create some playing with this the options so this is how it's going to look and 
I still have some of these. I don't know if I'm going to use them. They may be too much. Um, maybe this small one can come up somewhere around here. It's just one of the die cuts on its own. And we can glue it somewhere there just to create some dimension, maybe towards here. And then this will go, kind of, this is my idea, right? Here's the card, this will go here. So kind of the prize. Oh, thank you, Betty. And our sentiment, which now I can't find, of course. Oh, it's here. I love this wishing you everything. And so I'm going to put put it around here. Still stick to the belly band, but lower. Um, and let's do the sentiment right now. Let me bring a little piece of cardstock. And we're going to cut it. I try not to do this often, but... Um, you know, I just wanted to. This is this belongs to the charming um, sentiments. I one of the reasons I like this so much is because it has its own die cut, and I I just think that is a wonderful idea. Okay, there it is. Taking chaos and mayhem out of here, and I don't know if you if you have this. This is what I did. Because if you look at the die cuts, first of all, there's a few extra die cuts and it's very, very hard to um, see which one's which. So what I did is I placed the sentiments just as in the same place as I placed as the stamp sets. Sorry, I was cleaning my stamp. So as you can see, wishing you everything wonderful is here. So... In the same place so I know for sure that this one is that one it is a little bit complicated to use them I know Lisa Curcio who is the one that um, created this this set for her million dollar sales um, she has like a, oh my god like a specific PDF for this I I before I found out about it I just um, do this this way so it's much easier so you know so i know this one will be this one and this one is this one i don't know it works well for me so just in case that's a kind of a tip okay we're going to move these a little bit ahead of there that's not how it goes if you hear some munching it's my dog that found a stick of something i hope it's not something i need um and it's munching on it and i am going to align it well and put some of that post-it tape. I have it here. I love it. I can live with it. I love dice. So this is super useful. If you use dice, you can use that. I have a link to it. Um, but really, you can just go into Amazon. Okay. I have my big stamping up here. My embossing machine. Cut an embossing machine. I'm cutting real quick. And here we go. Again, I absolutely love that. I thought of embossing it in in gold, but I, I was not too sure. And I found out there is, I don't think Stampin' Up! has that, but like a platinum color. Um, I found, I, I have it. I don't even know where I got it. When I got it, I mean, probably years ago, because, you know, I just do this. I've been doing this for so long. But it is interesting that how much alike to this color that platinum was once once you um, heat emboss it so if you have something like it really good idea to do that so okay so this is our idea here's our friend we'll see where it goes okay i'm moving that first first things first oh my god i can't talk today well <laughs> today and every other day <laughs> it's all good <laughs> um I, what I like to do when I have these, so it allows some liberty of movement because this needs to fold eventually, right? We are going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in here. We know that this is going to be covered. 
and that way it will it will stay there i'm just going to hold it for one second and it's going to be wet so if you're doing this by any chance when you put it back be careful because it's going to be it can glue to it which means we need our silicone craft sheet right so we're going to leave that there hopefully that stays together i just want to make sure it's it's aligned everywhere there we go now my fingers are sticky because why not so we're going to leave it there i'm going to move these all the way there i'm going to leave a little bit loose that free template, yes, I did. I didn't get it. Thank you, Betty. I'm glad you like it. So I'm going to move these backwards now, and I am going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus. And if you hear somebody complaining, it's my dog, and now he wants to go out, of course. Um, yeah, I was going to get it, and then I didn't um, for some reason. So it's fine. I figured that that works well. So if if you have not gotten the template, the template is free like um, Betty said, so you can get it definitely free um, in Lisa's, in Lisa's um, web, website, which is Lisa's stamp, to, a little Lisa's stamp studio. Okay, so now we have our little thingy. It's a little loose, but I'd rather have them loose so it's not too tight and it has mobility for when we fold it, right? And now we're going to bring our little pieces here and start. And I'm going to use just, oh, you know what, I'm going to use, there's not a whole lot of issues in here in the sense, because it has so many dots all over, and things are going to be on top of it that we're really, nobody's going to see them. But be mindful of where you put them, just in case. I'm just aligning the bellum with the cardstock, so they are on the same spot. If you want some whimsical, you can just align them differently and just have some fun with that because, you know, that is a possibility. I am going to start with these piece and I am going to use some dimensionals for it so we are able to tuck in the um, quote unquote flowers. And I think I still have one dimensional here. I see it. And we will see if we need to cut some of them, um, which will be fine, right? Of course. So we're going to center these. You can do it. I'm just going to put it in here so you, so you see. You can do it a little lower if you want. I'm going to put it, hey, Judy. I'm going to put it inside here because I prefer it here. You can play with it as much as you want, of course. And so we're going to have that one there. And the first one I want inside is this one. And if you can tell here, I did not like press well my my um, my stamp when I before when I was putting the person marking. Of course, that needs to be covered by our flowers. So it happens. Uh, OK, so we're going to put this one there. Let's start playing with this. I really like put things like I don't know what the word is for it, like transposed. There's, there's a word for it, but I forget. Anyways, I want to put this one more on there and maybe this one up here. Let's see. So somewhere along those lines. I'm thinking I want this one like on top of here, not up there, but something like along these lines. In that way, we have all of them together, and we still have this friend that I think I, I am not sure if, where I want to put it. So we can wait to put it, because if I'm not sure, so, hmm. so let's start with our green bees. And if you like stamping blends, just remember that you can mix and match because they're alcohol markers so you can really have a lot of options when playing with them that's one of the things i really really like about stamping blends is you have options and options and options so for example this one that was the one i used for those and then i used the mossy meadow 
ones and just keep playing with them i love blending they are awesome and the stamping blends do, do a really really good job at that so i think i said i want this one here in order to put this one a little elevated we're going to need some let me bring this sorry we're going to need some of these putting this away and yes i have a, the hardest time using um okay let me go see here so this one is going to be underneath the rest need okay so that one there somehow that one's stuck i'm gonna put one like and lastly this one this one is probably going to be or maybe i'm gonna take it for now because i don't know if i want the the actual um flower a little bit on the a little bit loose but those two need to happen because they that way they keep the same height and our flower doesn't look all oh, unbalanced so i have one here i'm gonna put another one in here we can add the other one if needed later on if we want it that way so this one is going to go like so. Did you guys see that? <laughs> there it is. Okay, and now we're going to glue this one. And this one is going to go more like there. Remember that there was an a week I needed to cover that one. So we need to make sure that that's covered for sure. And this one's going to have glue. I'm going to put glue in these initial ones kind of because of the same reason these are going to be floating a little bit and so i don't want to make i want to make sure i'm going to move this a tiny bit to there i want to make sure that, that the glue is not floating in these two so and finally thank you for being here i really really appreciate it Finally, we're going to put this one in here. This one needs to go. So that means we're going to put some glue here and we're going to need some extra. Something like there, maybe a little bit in. So maybe I'm going to put a little bit more glue. There. And the rest is going to go like this. And this is how it's going to look. So we're going to now adjust these. My poor dog is kind of crying and crying, just sitting against the door, like, please let me out, let me out. And what I've done with belly bands, because sometimes, okay, they need to wait a tiny second. Sometimes it's hard to know where to put the glue, is I do in here. And I know that's a little bit risky, what I do is I kind of measure with my finger where I want it, right? So it's going to go there. I'm using the middle of it. Hmm. I'm wondering now, do I want to do the belly band like this? And so there's no edge. Ha, Maria. So let's measure this real quick. If you've done this before, you know that you have to leave a little bit of space you know a lot of a little bit of uh, flexibility in it more space i guess don't do it too tight because it's it needs to move right so if you do it too tight it will take a long time to move so leave like i don't know what's that probably like a 16th of an eighth of an inch that you know that you're playing with and so i am going to put some glue in here this anyway is going to be glued and the decision will be, do we glue it in front? And I think we're going to glue it in the front for a variety of reasons. This is going to take a few minutes to, to glue completely. I just want to make sure it, I, I feel like I moved it when I got it off. Now it fits well. Okay. So we're aligning these together putting them together and if you're observant enough these didn't match perfectly so they are a little bit off it's going to be very hard to notice it because this is going to be on top 
so yeah you want to really i mean you will need like this perfect for eyesight which of course i don't have so going back to what i was telling you i place this in the belly band i put my finger and take it off and then i know that i can start putting some glue all around here now this is a big piece that we're putting and so we know that there's a lot it needs a lot of glue it needs a lot of glue for a couple of reasons one of them it's because it has uh, this is already um, embossed and so it's harder for it to glue so now that we put the glue there we're going to come back in here and glue it all together make sure that it is in the right position the position we want and then we're going to let it hold it for one second and that would be the belly band so that's why this one needed to be pretty simple because the belly band was going to be a little it's going to be the cho steal the cho okay please say i didn't mess it up and uh, it's getting there oh god i just so, don't want to move this too much but that's gonna has gonna look like remember that this has all sorts of pieces and there's your card what do you guys think do you like it so that's today's card um i just call it modified tri chatter because i don't know really if it has another name um if you want i still have some of these i think i'm not going to attach any um i don't feel the need same as this one i don't i don't see the need for us to create some extra green so i'm gonna leave it as is let me show you the other ones i made so these um, yeah this is the first one i made this is using the celebration paper you guys know i i love this celebration paper it's called the beautiful world i want to say so very simple as you can tell same embossing folder this is the fussy cut from the paper because that paper brings these gorgeous flowers um i am using using the car base in mossy meadow and this is how it looks these two are stamped this this these three are stamped and this is just kind of letting the paper play along this is the first one i did um and when i was looking at it i'm like oh, i think I, it needs like a belly band right like i really really wanted to so i i really like this one it's less kind of what i was telling you you can make it like very elegant you can make it simpler this would be a lot of fun with halloween in this case i did leave some area here for writing um you know your sent i mean your sentiment your letter your card and signing up so this is the first one i made and the second one is using our if it comes a washing beauty a wash beauty beauty oh my god i'm so bad with names it's ridiculous so this one i did a couple of different things this is the first one i created the belly band for i really like this paper um and kind of the same concept right the belly band kind of steals the show um for the outside what i did for these is using hey the same folder <laughs> embossing folder but i put some of the i think it's polished pink in the embossing folder so i can get this effect of extra color within the belly band and then this is the card and i really really love this one um this this combination is this is rich Razzleberry and the mossy meadow like i, I love this combination it's very um very alchemish maybe i don't know i really like it so all these are cuts so the if you use their die cuts you can die cut from the actual paper um and that is a lot of fun and i love that so these are the two cards and same as the others of course these you know will stand like that and will look like that and i think those colors are just gorgeous so these are the three ones i made i really really hope you enjoy it which one did you like the best to see Okay, let me put this back in here.
maybe I'll let it be because sometimes, oh, look at that. As soon as I say I'm letting it be. Just be mindful when you're putting this back in that they do have some dimension in the back, some extra pieces because this is kind of loose, um, which is one of the reasons why we wanted the belly band. So these are the three we made, well, the three cards. And this is today's card. I really hope you enjoy the video. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me. I didn't even look at the clock. It's one hour and 10 minutes. I am so sorry. Poor Dita had to leave and eat dinner. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, actually, I have to go and get that um, ready as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me move back up here so um, you don't talk to the hands. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you're interested in... Um, Go to my website and check uh, my rewards program. I think it's a really good program system. Um, so see, that reminds me that the class, um, I have to send you that information. Like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, it has been a little bit rocky um, and crazy busy. So between busy and rocky, and um, I've not been able to send that, that link in the video to you. Um, sorry about that, but it will be done before the end of the month. Okay. Um, and again, thank you so much for being my crafting buddies. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you need anything, have doubts or concerns or suggestions, feedback, send me an email at Maria, Maria at Maria's Crafting Corner. And um, remember that everything, the all the measurements will be down below in a little bit. And um, and they you will have access to the PDF tutorial, which is free as well. Okay, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you very much for being here. And bye.